1980s. He is this week's Hughes and Coleman hometown hero. This one was taken uh, the day we crossed over the bridge. James Tony shows us pictures from when he fought massive wildfires with the hotshot crew. He did it for years, selflessly leaving his family back in Kentucky. Oh, look here. Um, we had a little daughter at home. Uh, I think Sarah was around two years old at the time. She would always call out for daddy, and that was hard. They fought fires in California, Alaska, and Oregon. He was gone one time for five months to Alaska. Some nights were spent in constant worry by the family back home. I would sit up at night and listen for any kind of news that was on at the time about the fire. She remembers what having a husband who fought rapid wildfires was like. We wouldn't hear from him for days because he, he could only call on Saturdays. And um, we would just stay up and pray that he was okay. But his hometown hero nomination called for going through pictures and memories. It's one of my favorite pictures. I like to blow it up. James was typically right in front of the fire. And this was right after the fire picked up and went over the top of us. Paula says her husband is a true hero because what he did is unique. Not a lot of people want to go toward this area. His love for people and nature is what helped him through the smoky times really got into it because he wanted to help people. He wanted to save the forest fires. You know, he wanted to save the forest. James Tony was able to bring out his gear and show off his version of a hero's cape. The love for it. Mm -hmm. And um, he just, he sacrificed a lot by leaving his family and by going to different uh, states and fighting those fires. I'm just very, very proud of him and I want him to know that. For his sacrifice in fighting the fires that have taken and changed many lives around the West, we honor James Tony as this week's Hughes and Coleman hometown hero. James and Paula Tony live in Bowling Green and own Marpe Therapy Center. Marpe means healing in Hebrew. They specialize in occupational, physical, and speech therapy. While reminiscing about his journey, James continued to say how grateful he was for his experience.